Well, intimacy isn't just all about sex. And so oftentimes when an individual is faced with colon cancer, um, it provides the opportunity to be intimate with their partner in a different way. And so the one thing about cancer is that it changes who you are. Cancer is one of the diagnoses that doesn't just affect the physical body. I don't think there's anybody that's ever been diagnosed with cancer that just goes in and gets the treatment, you know, gets the treatment, the physical part of it, because there's a huge psychological change that happens when someone's given a diagnosis. Sometimes it comes from the old stigma stereotype about cancer and diagnosis. A lot of times when people are diagnosed, they may think about other family members or friends that have passed away from cancer, so that usually evokes an enormous amount of anxiety and depression. I believe we're my, we're, we are body, mind, and spirit. And so when we get a cancer diagnosis, our physical body is ill, but it also impacts our psychological well-being as well as our spiritual part. It's very common for when a person receives a cancer diagnosis that anxiety about the future, depression about the past, all of those feelings become evoked and then it's also not uncommon for them to speak about their, their spirituality as they contemplate their morality. So the one thing that a cancer diagnosis does, in my opinion, is it kind of separates the mind-body-spirit connection. And as you go through treatment, it's not just healing the body, but healing the mind and the spirit as well, because you can't just have one and not the other. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.